time for another travel day. I'm heading down to southeast Texas today to pick up some more goats. And it occurred to me that if you've been watching some of my previous videos, that a question might be beginning to form. What are we doing with all those goats? And the answer to that is quite simple. We're building an empire. Actually, the truth of it is, we own and operate a goat grazing company. We take our goats all over the state and use them to help clear unwanted vegetation. There are two main reasons why people want to use goats for um, helping to clear different plant species. The, the first one is kind of a couple little series there, is the terrain of the area. Um, so steep slopes, rocky soils, poisonous plants, and also waterways. Those are our big ones, um, where you can't really get in a traditional machinery, or maybe it's unsafe for workers to go in there and remove plants by hand. Uh, we can send the goats in there, and they have no problem traversing the steepest slopes and taking care of every plant in the vicinity. The other situation that we've uh, also assisted with is conservation efforts with uh, different parks. And uh, even some cities have jumped on board with this, where um, using the goats to basically go after a certain type of species of plant, could be an invasive species, uh, to help kind of promote the more desirable species in that area. And this can also be to uh, help stimulate native species as well, because it's actually quite good for native plants to be grazed from time to time. That stress actually causes them to grow uh, more abundantly and grow stronger, so it does help uh, even to use the goats on native species as well. Now the next question you might want to ask is why in the world am I picking up goats in the winter time? Well, our company has been expanding every year since we started it, about six years ago. And you can't just take any old goat and put them out and expect them to go to work and know what's going on. It takes us a few months, even up to a year, to train these guys on the routine, how this works, teaching them sometimes even how to forage for things. Um, they need to be exposed to a broad range of different plant species so that their enzymes in their gut are able to break down those plants and get the nutrients that they need. Um, some goats just don't like to travel. Uh, they get stressed out. Um, so those guys will just stay at home with us instead of traveling. We have jobs for them at home too. Um, but we kind of have a process that they must go through in order to be able to travel with us and go to these big cities. I mean, you don't want to just take a bunch of goats and dump them in downtown and say, here you go, go to work. It just doesn't really work out that way. So these guys that I've just picked up are going to be going home with me. And in the next couple of months, they're going to go through a training regime to where we work with them and start training them. We, 
We use uh, the goats that have traveled with us over the years to help assist with that process because they kind of speak more goat than we do. And so that will help settle these guys in. They understand what's going on. They kind of see what these goats are doing and they'll follow each other and begin to have that herd mentality as it sets in. Goats are all picked up, time to head back. Made it back to the ranch. Gonna go ahead and unload these goats. Zoe really wants to help, but I don't think a border collie in the dark really sends the right message as a welcome to the ranch for the goats. So uh, I'm gonna have to sit this one out. You can meet him later. All right, you forgive me. Thanks. Okay. Here we go. 